And waiting upon Ruffle the Ruffian to complete the line. She's a temperamental mare, this one, Ruffle the Ruffian. Doesn't make the, the uh, job for the Barrier Boys any easier, that's for sure. And uh, she's always had this uh, little trait of hers, Ruffle the Ruffian. Like a lot of women, you've got to treat them with kid gloves. And uh, this one's no exception, Ruffle the Ruffian. Currently unwanted in the market, around 195 for the win 11, one of the outsiders. The 10 remains the favourite, Gold Moser. It's on 15, number 4. Soon Seeker is on a 22-0. There's been very good support for number 14, Super 8. Now that he's going to start, he's into 25. Of course, uh, racing under the same ownership as the previous winner here in Confound. And R. Reuven takes a ride there on Super 8, number 14. So everyone working upon Ruffle the Ruffian at the moment, proving to be her uh, usual difficult self out there. Jordan Mellion's got the ride on the mare today, Ruffle the Ruffian. So Gold Moser, the favourite, at 15 and 7. Number four, Soon Seeker, 20 and 10. 14, Super 8 is 26 and 8. This time she goes up into pole position, Ruffle the Ruffian. They're just about set to go now. Stand by. And uh, there they go. They're off and they're racing. And Six Empire began fast. Also showing speed, Lucky Victory. There's the grey being hunted out of the, out of the barriers as well. D Majula and is spearing across to now lead the way from Six Empire. Southern Hustlers up to third and out wider on the track is Lucky Victory. Ruffle the Ruffian placed midfield. Likewise, Gold Moza, Soon Seeker from Snow Dancer. They were followed by Super 8 Happy Buffalo from Hydrant and last of all is Elite Kingdom as they go towards the long course with just over 1,000 metres left to go and the pacemaker is De Majula, one of two greys in the race leads the way by two and a half lengths in second placing Six Empire and a close up on the outside Southern Hustler Soon Seeker must be four and five deep at this stage Ruffle the Ruffians back on the rail in that division also is Gold Moser so is Lucky Victory from Happy Buffalo then Hydrant Snow Dancer, Super 8 is second last and a further three lengths away was the Maiden Performer and that is Elite Kingdom last of all. They turn and go, they've got 600 metres left to travel and De Majula tries to sprint away now from Six Empire, put up about three and a half lengths and now Southern Hustler giving its head to the outside running home as well and so is Gold Moser, it's in pursuit of the front runner now. De Majula about to be collared now by Gold Moser, Six Empire, Super 8 is also winding up and they were followed by Snow Dancer. Gold Moser led the way from Super 8. Snow Dancer. Gold Moser under Elder Souza hanging on. Here's Snow Dancer closing fast. Gold Moser. Snow Dancer hit the line. Or oh, maybe a, a fraction there for Snow Dancer. Leave it to the judge. This is close. Snow Dancer and Gold Moser in third placing was Super 8 from Soon Seeker. Elite Kingdom, Happy Buffalo, and also close up Six Empire in what looked, turned out to be a busy finish. De Majula Weekend, Southern Hustler, Hydrant Lucky Victory, and Ruffle the Ruffian. Close go. There might be a margin for Snow Dancer, which was closing fast with uh, on the outside Gold Moser. This is a very close go. It's a photo. Snow Dancers come from a fair way back. Gold Moser reaching the lead with about 250 metres left to go. Snow Dancer has flashed home along the rail, has got very close, and if anything, he might have got up here. And I think he will. You always bring that outside up a few inches, but I think he's got it, Snow Dancer. And if he has... He's now won three from his last four starts. And there's a double for Frank Maynard as well. SU Lim, the rider, with Gold Moser at number 10. 14 Super 8 has also made up some late headway. He ran third and soon seeker in fourth spot. 12, 10, 14, the numbers. 
And four is fourth in 137.3, so it was a very close go. A busy finish there. 12, 10, and 14 the numbers. 12, 10, 14, four is fourth after the running of race number three. So Snow Dancer continues his very good form. Two in a row, three from his last four. He pays 50 for the win and uh, 12 the place. As you can see, we're settling in the second half of the field under SU Lim, recording his uh, third victory for the year, all at Class 5 level. And if anything, he's probably still eligible for Class 5, this horse. He got, he got uh, down that to low in the ratings. And he'll still be going around in Class 5 company next time. So he's posted three wins this year. He'll pay 50 and 12. Number 10, the runner-up, that's Gold Moser. We'll pay 8 for the place and 14, Super 8. I think he was around the same divvy. He will pay 8 for the place also. So Snow Dancer, a 5-year-old grey gilding by Floral Pegasus. Out of So Super Quick. Raced by the Water Tower Stable. Trained by Frank Maynard. That gives Frank a winning double. With too big to fail, winning race one. The rider was S.U. Lim. Second goes the way of number 10, Gold Moser. Trained by M. Sukri for KB Pan. The rider was Elder Souza. Goes down narrowly by a neck. And third is number 14, Super 8, Richard Lyons for the Confidence Stable. And ridden by R. Reuven. Fourth is number four, Soon Seeker. Osha Roos for Lawson Moy. The margins are a neck by 